Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Soul Child Vlog. I'm your host Shaz. Um, today I want to talk about something that's quite dear to me, and it's, it's the word peace. And peace is always sort of, um, you know, uh, uh, it's a very lofty word. You know, like, you know, you see, you see um, worldly figures, you know, religious fig figures. They they all use the word peace quite constantly. Um, for me, I didn't really sort of understand what it meant. Uh, uh, until I was on this path, probably say about seven, eight, nine years now. Um, and peace that I want to discuss is a little bit more closer. It's not peace, you know, in, you know, as they say, peace in the Middle East or peace somewhere or something or some way. It's actually peace within. And the reason why I'm talking about this is because this is part of the global community that we want to create. And we want to create a community of peaceful people. And, but it's not really peaceful in the way of something that is outward, it's peaceful in the way that is inward, okay? It's a big difference between peace outwardly and peace inwardly. Um, but I really believe that peace outwardly can only be achieved if we're peaceful inwardly, okay? And this aspect of, you know, inner peace, if you will, is very elusive, you know? It's hard for people to sort of uh, get a hold of it and, and grasp it. And most of it is related to our, you know, and this is, again, it's, a, it's my opinion, but it's related to our um, insatiable need to consume, okay? Um, how it works is that we usually, we're, you know, as human beings, we're looking for things like um, things to give us contentment, okay? So, you know, as, as, a, uh, uh, as a child, all the way to teenage years, to your adulthood, um, we're starting to learn uh, about acquiring things that can bring us or uh, give us a sense of happiness or contentment, hence peace. Okay, so when we say the word peace, it's associated with the word contentment, it's associated with the word uh, tranquility, you know, this kind of settle our hearts down kind of deal, okay? So most people, without being aware, are looking at something to get or to achieve, like a position or, or, or uh, something material in order for them to uh, feel this sense of peace. You know, it's this feeling of, oh, if I get this car, it'll make me feel good and then I will feel at peace, okay? If I purchase this house, then I will feel good and I will be at peace. If I get, um, if I uh, finish my degree, I will find, you know, and if I get this position or promotion, um, if, you know, uh, a couple who wants to have children, for example, if we have kids, we will find peace. Or somebody who's single and wants to be married, uh, 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 if, if I do that, I will find peace. You know, this is where, you know, I think there needs to be a lot of discussion, a lot of talk around this idea that the things that you try to acquire will end up acquiring you. Hence the saying, things that you own end up owning you. And, and <clears throat> you know, the, the meaning of it is that, you know, the things that you, you, you chase so, you know, uh, uh, so hard to get, once you have it, you know, it usually, you know, kind of dissipates that feeling, that, that sense of euphoria or, or the novelty of acquiring that thing that you wanted so badly wears off. You know, if you get a car, after a while you want a newer car. You get a house, after a while you want a bigger house. You get that position and then you look at the next position. You know, so on and so forth. So, you know, the elusive aspect of achieving inner peace is not something that you can ever gain outwardly. Okay, it's something that, that you know, and it shouldn't be, uh, you know, acquiring this level of peace should not be left to, you know, the gurus or the, 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 the leaders of, of, you know, mysticism and, and, you know, we can achieve it daily, you know, um, based, you know, on my own understanding and my teaching uh, from my teacher that have taught me, um, it is only through the remembrance of God. And again, to remind you that I'm talking about the same God you're talking about, whoever it is for you. Um, for me, it is the remembrance of God is where, it's be where it begins because God is everlasting. God does not uh, change. God is one. God is, is um, the omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient uh, 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 
beholder of of all that is so this is where you know if you're hanging on to that thing that you want that thing will move okay if you're leaning up against the wall that wall will move if you're you know wanting that thing uh, to make you feel better um, it will move okay um, if you're counting on certain people you know they change they get old they well, whatever it may be um, so things are constantly changing and so whatever you place your hopes whatever you place your sanity whatever you place your sense of contentment and peace on will always always you know with certainty change um, except for God you know if you we if we hang on to God and like I said it's whoever God is for you um, you know for me uh, it is one God the one God and uh, <clears throat> I you know my hopes my 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 uh, uh, my life if you will is 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 to hang on to him and I know that he doesn't shift or move or change or evolve. He is just what is. So that being said, peace is something that you want to acquire from within. Um, it is achievable um, to bring that, that, that state of tranquility within the heart. Um, most of this I am discussing in the podcast and also in some of the lessons on YouTube. So please check it out. There is no way to peace peace is the way. Thanks for listening, guys. I hope you guys tune in to the next vlog. Uh, please place your comments down below. Talk to you soon. Ciao.